to the weather classroom. There's no place like Chicago to talk about the last main ingredient in severe winter weather. Wind! Wind sets everything in motion for winter storms. It can turn an average snowstorm into a blizzard. If you've got 35 mile per hour winds for three hours or more during a snowstorm, then you've got a blizzard. Some blizzards are so bad, they reduce visibility to zero, and that's called whiteout. One winter storm was so violent, people are still talking about it. In fact, they even made a movie about it. They called it The Perfect Storm. The Perfect Storm was something called a nor'easter. And no, it has nothing to do with colored eggs and chocolate bunnies. The nor'easter gets its name from its continuously strong northeasterly winds that blow in from the ocean ahead of a coming storm. It pulls in ocean moisture and cold northern air and creates heavy snow, intense rain, high winds, and major waves. Wind doesn't just bring destruction. It causes something else that you've all heard of. Wind chill factor. That's just meteorologists talk for wind that makes a cold day seem colder. That's because wind removes the thin layer of warmth our bodies surround us with. So the body has to work overtime making more heat to replace it. And if wind removes the warm air faster than the body can replace it, that's wind chill. The air temperature doesn't change, but you feel cold. I can't stand cold. At least it's not windy. You just won't learn, will you? <laughs> Sorry. So what else do we know about winter storms? Well, it's getting a little cold and windy here to pull out any maps and graphs. So Jocelyn headed over to Weather Central to get some answers from the pros. This is the Weather Channel in Atlanta, Georgia. Probably the biggest concentration of forecasters and meteorologists in the old U.S. of A. Paul Kosin works here, and he wrote the book on winter weather. I mean, like, he wrote the book. <laughs> Come on! Now, Paul's not only a meteorologist, he plays one on TV. For the Weather Channel, I'm Paul Kosin. Hey, Paul. Hey, Jocelyn. You got a few minutes? We got a few winter weather questions. Oh, sure. Okay, now, severe winter weather, that happens when cold air meets warm air. What's up with that? Well, cold air comes down with the jet stream from the north, while the warm air comes up from the tropics, and when the two meet, the two don't get along at all. Like a bad blind date. Exactly. So how do you know when these guys are brewing? Nowadays, meteorologists have all sorts of high-tech, sophisticated devices to help monitor storms. Supercomputers help take that information to generate weather maps to help incorporate temperature, precipitation levels, wind patterns, the whole enchilada. Wow. So these computers are really the most important tools for forecasting storms. Well, yes and no. Modern technology has allowed us to make great advances in forecasting, but there still is the need for human observation. Ultimately, we take all this information and our weather maps and analyze it every day, every hour. This makes our winter forecasts much more accurate than they've ever been. And we take that information and spread the word out to the public about the danger that's on their way. Now, speaking of the public, you ready to do the forecast? Now? Like right now. Welcome back to the Weather Channel. I'm Paul Kosin, and today we have with us Jocelyn from the Weather Classroom. Hi, Mom. Oof, so much for that career. OK. Now, before our heads burst with all of this newfound knowledge about winter weather, there's just one last bit of business to get straight. Just exactly why do we have winter in the first place? Seems like a silly question, right? And some of you brainiacs out there might say it's because the old Earth orbits around the nice warm sun, and when we're further away from that nice warm sun, it gets cold and we get winter, which would be a pretty good guess, but the truth of the matter is we're actually closer to the sun when it's winter here in North America. So wrap your minds around that one. <laughs> so, here's the deal. Our little planet here orbits around the sun in a not-so-perfect circle called an ellipse. Even though we're closer to the sun at various points along our orbit, it's not enough to really make it any warmer or colder. The secret behind the seasons is that the Earth orbits the sun at an angle that never changes. So when the sun's rays hit a part of the planet at an angle, it's winter. In between, and you get spring or fall. When the sun's rays hit a part of the planet straight on, it's summer there. 
It's like when you're at the beach or outside in the summer. When the sun is directly overhead, you get the most sunburn. Earlier or later in the day, when the sun's rays are hitting you at an angle, less heat, less burn. So there you have it. Now I've got a skiing lesson and Sarah's probably frozen solid by now. So it's time to wrap it up. But one last thing to remember before we go. Weather, we're all in it together. Excuse me, where's the bunny slope? Gee, thanks Brandon. Very deep. No time to chat though since I gotta keep moving to keep from freezing. As we've seen, meteorologists have their hands full when the temperature drops and the weather turns foul. Winter weather can pack a serious punch, and trying to predict the next blizzard or ice storm or nor'easter is serious business. Even with all the new tools right at their fingertips, it's still sometimes just a good guess. And what if they're wrong, even after analyzing all the data that their computers and spotters have given them? Pretty embarrassing if they predict this monster storm and then just get snow flurries. Bottom line is, Meteorology isn't a perfect science, and the best that meteorologists can do is use their data, their experience, and their intuition to help make the best call and get the word out to the public. But never forget, winter storms are some of the most powerful and violent occurrences in nature, often rated R for extreme violence. And they can be very unpredictable too. So, if a winter storm is headed your way, don't take any chances, because severe winter weather can be so well, severe. Okay? Feel smarter now? Good. Because that wraps it up for the weather classroom. Now, speaking of violent and unpredictable, whose bright idea was it to turn the heat off? Anybody? I'm waiting. Hello? Hello?